Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you, that is how I know you. Go on. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year. And I've got some things to talk about. One of the things I have to talk about is what have Frankie's lawyers actually done? The other thing I want to talk about is, as a Mariah Carey fan, I acknowledge what a great singer Celine Dion is. And the Rolling Stones just released a 200, top 200 list of their greatest singers. And Celine Dion wasn't included. How is that even in the realms of possibility? Celine Dion is one of the greatest singers of all time. By any stretch of the imagination. So these are the things I'll be talking about in this upcoming podcast. So stay tuned. Frankie, I know you watch everything that I put out, even when it's even when it's not about you. Anything that that's related to the case, or you know, you watch all the stuff that I put out. If you if you're going to write a comment under this video, and you're welcome, you are welcome to write a comment underneath here. Just make sure it's a decent comment. I will accept it. I will approve it. Absolutely. You don't have to agree with everything that I say. You can put forward your your point of view. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. You can correct me if you think that I'm in, you know I'm wrong. Um, you are welcome to write on my channel under my podcast under my videos. You are welcome to come to this channel always, and you can say whatever you want as long as you are respectful. And um, you know my question to you is. What have your lawyers actually done regarding AD? Because I don't think they've done anything at all. And you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think your lawyers have done absolutely nothing. And like I said, you know what I think about this so-called court case. I don't think it's ever going to happen with you versus AD, specifically. Um, and it's time to come out and say so. Hanging on to pride is just not the way to go in this day and age. Just say it's not going to happen. Say that I'm right. Say that Bam's right. And we can all get on and we can all move on from this. And I'll return to this subject matter later on in this podcast. Now, we all know that Whitney Houston is one of the greatest singers of all time. And if she was placed at number one, I wouldn't dispute that because Whitney Houston is the voice. Um, because your love is my love and my love is your love. It will take an eternity to break us. My love is your love. I mean, she was the syrupy, sweet singer who transcended generations, who transcended race, who transcended, you know, Whitney Houston is not just a great African-American singer. She's a great singer, period. But so is Celine Dion. So is Christina Aguilera. Um, you know, Whitney came at a time when, you know, she has that, um, you know, she she's of an age where, she can, you know, we can boast that she's been around for generations. She's a, you know, Christina Aguilera is a lot of a newer artist compared to Whitney Houston. So she hasn't been around for generations. You know, Christina Aguilera have, has was not around for generations like Whitney Houston. And he, even though Whitney Houston is no longer with us, she has that legacy. Uh, you know, I will always love you. You know, you know, the charts and the sales of that song, even though it's actually a Dolly Parton song. You know, she made it her own and, you know, Whitney Houston is an amazing singer and we can't dispute, I know I can't dispute that, um, but so is Celine Dion and the impact of Celine Dion has been also huge. Um, and like I said, we all know that African American singers are among the greatest. We all know that. 
you know, gospel background, church, singing in church. We all know that they have that background. We all know that they have their natural born talent. But Celine Dion is an amazing singer and she has touched many people with her voice also. And she should have been on that list. And the list without Celine Dion is not a list that I, you know, as a Mariah Carey fan, I'm very happy with her being at number five. I don't know exactly where I would place Celine Dion, but I do know that she would have to be on the list. Kind of Taylor Swift on the list or Rihanna on the list and not have Celine Dion on the list. I mean, come on. Uh, so either they forgot to put her on the list or, you know, something went awry here. Now, Frankie, everyone has pride and everyone has an ego. I'm not exempt from those things. But one of the things that shows true character is sometimes admitting when we've made a mistake or admitting when we're wrong. And allowing somebody else to be right. And I think that's where you, where you falter. I think it's time now to just say it's not happening. And people can move on, we can all move on. You know, when you talk about, when you've spoken about something for years on a public forum, people are going to question and people are going to ask. People are going to ask questions. Once you put something out there, it becomes public conversation. Especially when you're asking the public to raise funds for you. It becomes public conversation. So I think it's time, and you know, let this be a lesson to everybody. I think if people, if people want to, um, you know, if people want to raise money and stuff like that, that's absolutely fine for whatever, for whatever cause, but be open and honest about what's happening. And if you're not going to be open and honest about what's happening, then use your own funds. This is how I see it. So anyway, um, I'll be releasing some podcasts at some point. You know, I, I spent time with my mum over the new year. I hadn't seen her in a few years, even though she lives just around the corner. Um, and we had some conversations, but she really wasn't in the mood. I mean, you know, sometimes we're just not in the mood and that happens to all of us. And uh, so I released some snippets of our conversation, but there was more. And I, the, basically the snippets I released were advertiser friendly. Uh, and that's why I, I put those snippets up. Uh, but there's more and I will release that at some point in the near future. What else do I want to talk about? There's also a video that I ever did that I want to address at a later date uh, recently. Um, and I'll just I'll address that at a later date. And uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for all the people that come and listen to my podcast and watch and appreciate. Um, as you know, I've been concentrating a lot more on my shorts content recently. And, um, you know, that's part of, you know, that's almost like a separate channel now. But um, I always appreciate people coming to my channel and writing comments. And I do my best to respond to every single comment that I get. I do my very best. I'm not perfect, but I do my best. 